Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Tuesday. All right guys, well just a heads up, we are going live for our Vanderpump Rules after party tomorrow, Wednesday, because we fly back in to home around, I don't know. We're just going to be there in time. So everything is going to resume as of tomorrow. We do a, well, we'll figure it out. We're going to talk about the Real Housewives of New Jersey because we are getting to the end. And also we have an exciting coming up. So I can't wait to share. Well, you guys will see it before I do, probably. But with that, if you guys haven't already, go ahead and smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And I am so sorry that the sun is coming in right to my face right now. I'm like, I look all cockeyed and whatnot. Like, hi, good morning. Welcome to the Real Housewives of New Jersey. Thank you, guys. Thank you for understanding. Let's jump right in. It's time. For all your binge-worthy pop culture news, welcome to Up and Adam. All right, guys, so we're back to talk about Caroline Manzo, who is dropping some deets, and also Jackie Goldschneider, who is detailing this Real Housewives of New Jersey finale fight that is going to be absolutely explosive, kind of like the straw that broke the camel's back, but we're going to start with Caroline Manzo. Thank you to Reality Blurb for just giving us all the deets. Now, Caroline Manzo is addressing Teresa and Melissa's feud, where she stands with the Gorgas, and Melissa firing rumors, plus the Real Housewives of New Jersey regrets, and a Danielle Cabral update and a Dina reconciliation. Holy cow. So she's literally just addressing everything right now, y'all, but let's get into it. Caroline Manzo addressed Teresa Judice's issues with her sister-in-law, Melissa Gorga, if she'd ever returned to the Real Housewives of New Jersey, her regrets on the show, and if she blames New Jersey Housewives for her falling out with her sister. Hmm, okay. The mother of three also claimed that she hasn't spoke to her niece, Danielle Cabral, since her friendship with Teresa and revealed how she feels about Teresa's relationship with Jacqueline Depp. Being on Behind the Velvet Rope podcast, we know Behind the Velvet Rope, guys, with David Yancey. If he has a great podcast, Caroline suggested that Real Housewives of New Jersey has changed a lot since social media's influence on the entertainment industry. And she says that she stopped watching the show after her exit. But, you know, everybody loves to keep you informed. Addressing Teresa and Melissa's family problems, Caroline stated, sometimes you have to know when you when to just walk away and call it a day. Some things cannot be fixed, right? So you can try and try and try and if they don't want to be fixed, then they're not going to be fixed. So walk away. Maybe come back to the table when you're a little older and a little more mature. Who knows? But sometimes you just need to walk away to save the situation. Hmm. Caroline was then asked where she stands with Melissa and Joe Gorga. She said, when I see them, it's like I never lost an hour of time with them. Because we did hear, by the way, guys, we did hear for a second that her and Melissa and Joe were not necessarily getting along because the rumor was that Melissa was out here talking crap, saying that Carol was too old for the show. And Caroline did say, I heard that rumor, but also it's not necessarily the biggest deal. She's like, no harm, no foul. If that's how you feel, that's none of my business. I don't care. And Melissa's like, I didn't say that. So welcome to the housewives world. All right. Caroline was asked where she stands with Melissa and Joe. Again, she said, when I see them, it's like I've never lost an hour of time with them. We just go right back to where we were. We don't hang in the same circles. Again, I'm a lot older. We're at different points in our world. But whenever I'm with him, I have a good time and I have no problems with any of them. She did address the speculation that Melissa is sucking up to her on social media to get in her good graces now that she's feuding with Teresa. And she said, Nobody's got to stay in my good graces. It's insanity to think that. And nobody's got to kiss up to me either because I'll see right through it. All right. So I do what I want to do when I want to do it, how I want to do it when it comes to this life with television and everything else. So there's going to be no tipping point from anybody to make me decide whether I'm going to stay or go, whose friend I'm going to be or not. We saw them at BravoCon. We had a great time. We had a lot of la laughs and there's no underlying anything. Now, she was asked about the rumor that Melissa won't return for another season, and she expressed, you are not going to know what's happening until the last minute. You don't know what's going to happen until the show airs and how it's received and what the people at Bravo are thinking when they sit around their table and discuss things. There's so many moving parts to this, so I think anybody would be foolish to make a judgment call at this point in the game. It's a fool's game to suggest at this point. 
She claimed that she hasn't spoken to her stepniece, Danielle Cabral, since she became friends with Teresa. And she said, interestingly enough, the last time I heard from her was when she was cast. And of course, I had spoken to Andy prior to recommend her. And she was cast. And then they, I think they introduced her to Teresa and she hit it off with Teresa. That's the last time I heard from her. She expressed that Danielle's got a lot of Teresa in her. Regarding where she stands with Teresa, she said, I don't think either of us even think about each other. Again, it's so far in my rearview mirror. I could sit in a room with her and have no problem. It's not that I'm going to be knocking on anybody's door to do so, but I could do it. You got to shake off the little things and just say, okay, I'm going to leave you back there. So she is back there, and I would assume that I'm in the same place in her world. Now, when the host claimed Teresa was bringing up Caroline's name, David Yonti, the alum responded, the same nonsense. It's just like, stop already. Stop already. Stop with the allegations. None of it's true. Just stop with the nonsense. It's been a long time since I've been on there. I'm not going back. And she insisted that she would not return to the Real Housewives of New Jersey, even if she had the same salary as Teresa, which you guys know, that's a pretty penny. That's a fat check. That's probably around $2 million. Teresa is now officially right there with Candy Burris, the longest running housewife on the housewives of anything. So, yeah, there's that. No, 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 that ship has sailed. And she said she's had many opportunities to film. Now, though Caroline would say no, also say no to filming the Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip, she indicated she'd be open to a conversation about manhood with children. How does Caroline feel about Teresa's reconciliation with Caroline's sister-in-law, Jacqueline? She did say before that she thought that that was wonderful. And if stuck on a deserted island, Caroline would choose to live with Danielle Staub over Teresa because Danielle is a survivor and you can't take it away from her. Her regrets on the show when it comes to them. She said, I regret a lot of things. I regret a lot of fashion choices. I regret a lot of makeup choices. As far as behavior, sure, there were times that I was short with people because I was aggravated, stuff like that. I don't take anything back. If I ever said anything, I meant it. So sure, over five years on that, there's plenty of moments that you kind of want to take back. And does she blame filming The Real Housewives of New Jersey for her falling out with her sister, Dina? She said, you can't blame it completely on the show. There have been, you know, underlying issues before the show. But with any problems that people are having, that happens. So I think it just gets piled on and becomes a breaking need to hear rumors of Dina and Teresa's falling out. And she said, no, no. You know, I don't own people and I don't direct them to hang out with this person or that person. So, no, I don't want to see them have a falling out, which is really big of her. But speaking of really big of someone, Jackie is also teasing Melissa and Teresa's finale fight. What? In an interview with Hollywood's Life, uh, Hollywood Life's Pay Attention Police podcast, Jackie addressed the anticipated fight, saying, I'm trying to think if it was the most chaotic moment or if it really was. I was watching it all on, is this, is this really happening? Because not only are you watching a reality show, but you're watching two families completely destruct in front of your eyes. And you're watching other people getting in there. The star also suggested that Danielle played a role in the family fight after Jennifer Aiden told her about the cheating rumor during their cast trip to Ireland. Danielle knew what she was doing. It was just a shame. It's just a shame that people, you know, it's hard. You're on a show and you have to be entertaining and you have to say things that you might not say in real life. But at the same time, you also have to go home and be able to live with yourself. So yeah, Danielle does some things that nobody's okay with. Jackie does not believe that Melissa and Teresa will get to a good place. She said at this point, it's so toxic. And even when they do make up, another fight is bubbling there. It's just waiting. It's the same crap over and over and over. And they're not going to be okay because they never dealt with the initial problems. And the initial problem is that Teresa hates Melissa for coming on the show. And Melissa resents Teresa for the things that she's done over the years. She then also told the outlet that her relationship with Jennifer has not improved since filming. And she shared that Jennifer is unfollowing her and not dealing with her. So she is going to stay over in the corner with Dolores and Margaret Josephs. Guys, this fight, the finale fight, we've heard that Joe and Louie get into it, Teresa and Melissa get into it. Now Danielle is apparently a catalyst for it. I don't know, but I have questions to which I need answers. So go ahead and comment below. Let us know. Link. And more importantly, before you go, don't forget to smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.